We have a mission for you. Ready? Be with us. Get it PG-13. Get your tickets now. I think this project for me was really just about living out a childhood dream. Star Wars definitely got my imagination rolling at an early age, and a lot of my first steps into animation was actually using Star Wars toys. I remember, I think I was three years old when I first watched the movie, and I remember sitting there as a little kid thinking, this is the coolest thing in the world. It's always a huge inspiration to take a step back and think, if I was a kid watching this, this is the sort of thing I would want to see my toys doing. That is awesome. The coolest thing of seeing all these come together is how realistic it is, how fun it is. They're working so hard and they're doing such amazing work that I'm so excited for people to be able to see what it looks like. I hope that when fans see the videos, they feel the authenticity. There's a lot of passion for Star Wars. It's been some of the most fun I've ever had in my career. I mean, that's pretty much a dream come true. It's bringing these action figures that you see as a kid and you play with and putting them in the world that you always imagined. Working on this project has been super fun, epic adventure, and we just can't wait for the fans to see it. Wow, so what did you think of that? Now, staying with Star Wars, for many of us, John Williams and his rousing scores are practically synonymous with the franchise. At 83 years old, the composer came back to contribute to The Force Awakens, but sadly, he will not work on any of the anthology movies. Consequently, we won't hear his soaring themes in Rogue One, making it the first Star Wars movie to hit theaters without a Williams score. Now, while he may be no John Williams, Gareth Edwards and company have found a strong replacement in Academy Award award-winning composer Andre Desplat. He and Edwards work together on Godzilla, and there are few composers out there as celebrated as Desplat right now. He has received an Oscar for his work on Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel, and he was actually competing against himself in that race, as he was also nominated for his contribution to the imitation game. It will be interesting to see if he puts his own unique stamp on Star Wars with Rogue One, or if he attempts to channel John Williams. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Thanks for watching. May the force be with you.